I'm the man in the box. Why? What was that? What was that? Hey, hey guys, we're, we're trying inside the box. Click. Still not said to hold right click and move around. That was weird. Anyway, what's up? What's up? Is that level select? Is this what's sure? Am I doing it right? <laughs> Let's try this out. Hip. What's up? Oh no, is it like too low sensitivity? Can you look around with the... okay. Okay, WASD works. I guess that'll have to be better. Why does it move so slowly? Like, holy crap. Okay, so what's up? Can you click on that. Ah! Sup? Three, two, four, two, maybe? Supposed to add them together? Maybe? Do I add all of those together? I guess we're just going like zero to a hundred immediately. <laughs> like no context. Let's solve some puzzles, I guess. Because the first thing I'm supposed to do is me adding all of these numbers together? That seems kind of like a dick starting move. Or just like an annoying amount of brain math to do off the top of my head. Let's see. Inertia. Graphics high. Average. Oh, here we go. It's a much faster movement speed. Mouse still moves really slowly, but this makes my my movement seem to go faster. That's better. Okay. That must be how you leave the game. It's by Alexander Tavinsev. Okay. Brain. 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 Brain check mark brain? Nope. Alright, well I re I revamped the movement a little bit. Let's see if I can figure out this puzzle. I suppose I could see if it means what I think it means. I'm gonna pump pump out a calculator here just to make this go a little faster for us, even this might be against the spirit of the game. But I don't even know if I have the right idea of what to do here. So I'm doing 57 plus 44 plus 75 plus 63 plus 81 plus 13 plus 47 is 380. That's if I go boo do 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 as in do 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 around the outside and just add everything but these two, I guess. I get 380. Okay. What if you only add everything but those? So like 38 plus 79, like 117? It says plus. Maybe it's not related to this grid? Maybe it's just the number of lines? Like 32 plus 
42, which would be 74. Three, two, four, two. Maybe we'll try a different one. Maybe it'll let me try, try a different puzzle. I'm still trying to figure this game out, so if I'm dead ending on literally the first puzzle, that's a little rough. Maybe I'll be able to pick out what they mean better somewhere else. Okay, so... Plus, 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 plus. They crossed out the umbrella, but left the CE. 20. More scribbles. Twenty plus 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 two seven six two five one. I think they I think they're saying that you add all of these together to get twenty. I need to make it a bunch of numbers that are equal 20. So right now we are at 6 plus 6 is 12. So I need to add 8 to my current value. That's me adding 5. So that should take me to 17. Can I make this one 5? Yep. Hey! I understood what a puzzle was. Hmm. Not gonna lie, when I saw screenshots of this with the little flaps coming out and stuff, I kind of thought that these were gonna be, like, puzzle boxes? As in, like, the room? Like a... Like a box you solve through via a series of contraptions and inputs and so on that accesses more and more of the puzzle? They see... the box seems to be somewhat... not re relevant. <laughs> it's just a... Seems to just be a logic puzzle that happens to be written inside of a box for reasons. So 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus... or 2 plus 7 plus 6 equals 100. So I can't change the numbers, I can only change the operations. So 7, 14, 21, uh, 23, 30, 36 is 100. So no. Divided by 2 times 2. Okay, so 21 times 2 is uh, 42 plus 7 plus 6. So we, need to, we need to escalate faster here. So the 7 times 7 is 49 plus... Okay, that you want, that's too high. That's too high too quick. This would be like minus 7. 49, so it's 42 times 2 is 84. 84. Let's see, 7 and 6 is 13. That takes us to 90, uh, 97. That's very close. Almost annoyingly close. <laughs> um, divide, multiply, minus, plus. I imagine order of operations applies here, so I need to add probably probably like make two really big numbers. Like seven times six is uh forty-two. So that's forty-two and this is forty-nine. If we add those two together, we're almost there, but I don't think we can get away with that quite. You can't do like seven times seven times seven. Hmm. K 
can you do seven times seven times seven? That'd be uh, 343, which if you divide by two would give you a decimal, which is probably not going to take us to 100. Hmm. They gave you a lot of messy freedom in here, didn't they? So 7 times 6 is 42, 7 times 7 is 49. At that point we need like 9? Okay, so that's 42, plus 7, plus 2. Yeah, because 7 and 2 is 9, so 49 plus 42 is only off by 9, so then you just add 7 and 2 to get the 9. There we go. This is probably agony. This is, they're math puzzles? Like, if, if it was already hard to watch somebody solve normal puzzles, having them be math puzzles means that, like, for certain people, this is actually agony. But I have not had to practice on-the-fly math much in the last 10 years. I don't, I don't really have, like, times tables actively ready on the fly, necessarily. What the fuck is going on around here? Okay, these buttons feel nonsensical at the moment. So 3 plus 9 equals 21. No, it doesn't. <laughs> 2 plus 8 equals 10. Yes, it does. 1 plus 8 equals 1. What? 5 plus 7 equals 33. Some weird shit's going on here. Why are these X's? 4 plus 6, question mark, question mark, question mark. And four and six never arrive on here at all. So two plus eight is ten, but one plus eight is one. Somehow it's not nine. What are the rules here? Is there a relationship between five and seven that can lead to thirty-three? Am I just really bad at this entire game? I might be. 4 plus 6. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Am I, answer am I writing down what these three numbers are? Like, what 4 plus 6 actually means? Or is it just what it re results in? I'm assuming I'm writing what it results in, which is somehow... Somehow these indicate what the rules are here. How does 3 plus 9 equals 21? I'm gonna pass, I think, for the next one. Sorry if this is torture, but if you want to prove yourself, you're more than welcome to go check this out yourself anyway. Why does that one seem to indicate that it's, that it's done? Did I do it? Oh wait, was I in four just now? No, I think I've only solved one so far. No, I'm here again. Did I solve two of them already and just forgot? <laughs> Some, a faster way to switch between puzzles might be nice, considering how much of a pain it can kind of be. And some of these, I just straight up don't see what they're asking or what they mean. 
Okay. 440 equals 445401. 570 equals 567801. 301 is 340112. The inputs, the weird number of steps you put into your inputs seem mostly pointless. What's the point of summoning these two things forward? I really do get the vibe that this is just, uh, these are just math puzzles presented in an annoying way, visually. <laughs> Am I insane? Is there something fucking weird about the perspective here? Doesn't this always look like it's facing me perfectly? No matter where I turn the, the box, it feels like the back flap is always facing me dead on even though it should be tilting with the backboard. Something weird's going on with the perspective here. Like, I'm looking at this, these two bonds, they look like they're directly above each other no matter where I turn the camera. Like, the perspective's cheating somehow. 343 equals what? Okay, so it's a six-digit code that somehow is derived from 343. I think they just, I think I can just, I don't know if there's a logic behind it or not, but I think I can just cheat, essentially. Three seems to be three, four. Four seems to be four, five. See, four, five, four, five, zero, one. Zero, zero always makes zero, one. I guess it's just whatever number comes after the current number. <laughs> Why does it take so many clicks? All right, so three is three, four. Four is four, five. And then three is three, four. It's just whatever number comes just after each one. Yeah. What? Is there an audio element to this puzzle? I don't hear anything. Left ear, right ear. That puzzle was just keep going till you hear a click. Okay. Why not? 44614. 11641 four, to 64. 22. Okay, so you just get rid of the ones, get rid of the twos, get rid of the threes. 64, 83, 16. This is 61. I have to put them on the walls like a weirdo. <laughs> oh, the box is such a weird element of this game where it's just kind of pointlessly making it slightly hard to look around, but it doesn't really affect the puzzles so far. What? Okay, sure. What? What? Why not? All right. Six nine five four is one fifty nine. Somehow, thirty six seventy six equals nine thirteen. Is it because three and six are equal nine, and seven and six equals thirteen? 6 and 9 is 15, 5 and 4 is 9. Okay. So 6 and 4 is 10, and 5 and 7 is 12. So 10, 12. Yep. Oh, there's more up there. I didn't even look, look at that one. Okay. So maybe the one I couldn't understand was like some kind of bizarre non-math thing like that one was. Where it's just, it's just like a bunch of weird arbitrary rules 
And so I must have not been thinking, I was like, I was thinking maybe too much in math terms, as opposed to like nonsense, potentially. Two plus eight, 12 plus eight is 108, somehow. Is it because... Two plus eight is ten. One, but no. Hmm. Fourteen plus seven is one twelve. So 12 plus 8 should be 20, and somehow it's 108. So I was thinking like... I'm thinking in bullshit rules here. It's if you multiply it by the first slot and add it to the second slot, then you get 10 and 8, and then you reverse them to get 108 instead of 8, 10. That's just nonsense, though, but I don't think the rule applies if I try to apply that down here. So, 7... And these two added together would be 11. So that'd be like... 11, 7, I think, was the how it worked with my previous rule. Which didn't make any sense anyway. Um, how are you getting a 2 out of any of that? Obviously, if you actually add these together, you get 21. If you add each of the individual digits, you get 8 and 11. Can you add 8 and 11 to each other to make this? Or 8 times 11, maybe? No, because 8 and 11 multiplied to each other would be 88. 8 plus 15 makes 128. Well, 8 times 15 is 120. Then you add 8 again to get 128 for some reason. <laughs> Fourteen times seven is ninety-eight. And if you add fourteen again, you'd get one twelve. Well, that's too much of a coincidence, isn't it? Twelve times eight is ninety-six, and if you add twelve again, you would get one oh eight, right? Yeah. What the fuck? Okay. So we just multiply them together, then add the first number? Seems to be the rule? Why? Alright, so... 18 times... 7... Plus 18 is 144? What the fuck? <laughs> This is just nonsense. No wonder I was stuck at the first. None of these make- what the fuck? Do I have to decide what the answer is first, then try to figure out how to make it happen? What? Oh, is this the real input? So I have to figure out what real number I can make. I guess. And then if I succeed, that's an E. E. I can't tell if this game's supposed to be torture or not. I don't think I can make 44. I could try the 58.
Doesn't actually fit that. That fits it. Got an 81. Twenty-three or twenty-five. I think you just keep shuffling it until you make a sequence of numbers that actually fits together. I kind of hate this one, so I'm not going to bother with it anymore. I don't really feel like finishing that one. Number nine. So I, that was number ten I got stuck on. We'll try to do like one more if we can. It's just a bunch of X's everywhere. Not red, yellow, slide, check mark, green. What? Four of hearts? So not four. Can't look anywhere else, right? This is the furthest I can look in every direction. Five on the left and five on the right. Four of heart four, but four X. No X, but yes to five and five, maybe? Unless red refers to the X's. No. Then there's a check mark. Maybe it means this is four. Like if this is if this is the layout of the keyboard, then four is X. So then six is the correct one. Wait. It's writing down my answers that are wrong. Oh, it's. The adjacent, it means that I'm near it. So, like, let's hail Mary these ones. Then go to three and four, so do four and three. Nine. Oops. Did we change it, I think? I think it means that if it's yellow, I'm near the right answer. If it's green, I did get the right answer. And if it's red, it's the wrong answer. And uh, if I get like three wrong in a row, I have to start over and it probably re-randomizes what the answer is again. Four a heart is weird. I don't know what that means, but maybe, maybe we should put four first. So four, five, three, seven, two? Four is near it, so one way or another we're good there. So th let's try three for the four. Five. Three is close again, so two? That must be nine. One? What? Oh, do you mean I'm off by one digit in that if I'm, that my yellow is the correct answer for a different digit? Yeah, so three was yellow here, and then I put three over here, and it became right. I went with eight and tried getting seven and nine, the adjacent numbers, and they were both wrong. So the answer is three, five, and there's also an eight, but not there, and there's also a two, but not there or there. So two is the, this one. There's also a four and an eight, which I haven't tried here or here yet. So, eight, two, four. Hey! That was actually, that was my favorite puzzle. Even though I'm pretty sure I've played it before. I think I've seen that. I mean, these aren't, these aren't necessarily in, invented puzzles. I think I've played a few of them in different contexts. The, the difficulty is figuring out what rule is even happening, but uh, that one's a, a fun little one. I think... Was it Elex that had the hacking minigame was actually that puzzle, basically? There's variations on that. 
I don't know. This is a... This is an amusing little thing. Some of it's... Some of it's annoying, some of it's fun. It's kind of a mixed bag, but this has been inside the box, you guys. If you'd like to try to play the rest of the challenges in here, there is a link in the description to the Steam page. Thank you to the developer for sending me a code so I can preview their game. Thanks for watching like always, guys, and I'll see you next time.